things, then how will you understand of heavenly things? Marvel not that I tell you that you must be born again. That if any man be Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. A new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Now's the time to get right with God. He's coming. The Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, He's coming. Who is, who was, and is to come. He's coming. He's coming on a white horse called Faithful and True. In flaming fire vengeance on those who obey not the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Did I ask you this morning, what path are you walking on? Are you walking on the wide and broad path that leads to destruction? Or are you walking on the straight and narrow path that leads to everlasting life? For the Bible says, enter, yea, into the straight gate. For wide and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many there go in thereat. For straight and narrow is the way that leads to everlasting life. And few be there that find it. It is easier for a camel to enter to the eye of a needle than for a rich man than to enter to the kingdom of God. What's that senator's name? He just got caught for bribery, millions of dollars. God sees everything. He sees the wickedness and the perversion and the, corrupt, the corruption of mankind. He sees, he knows the hearts of men. And the Bible says there are many devices to a man's heart. But nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. God sees everything. For the Bible says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding both the good and the evil. This is about your salvation. God loves you. And the Bible says, for all have sinned, every single one of us has broken God's commandment. That's why God had to send a Savior, a Savior, His one and only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. He that believeth on Him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. The heart of man is wicked. That's why Jesus said you must be born again. And unless you're born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. And unless you're born of water and the Spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ is coming on a white horse. In flaming fire vengeance. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. What are you going to do about it, neighbors? Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. He loves you. But you must repent. Repent from what? Repent from our sins. And the Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Every single one of us have fallen short. That's why we need a Savior. And Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent to you therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. He's coming back. The Lord is coming back quickly. Get ready, everybody. Jesus Christ is coming back quickly. I'm out here sounding the trumpet. He's coming. Repent, every single one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. 
and all said and done and that when that sky cracks and Jesus our chief cornerstone comes back with 10,000 of his saints he's coming back to judge this world in righteousness everyone will fall on their knees crying and mourning every nation will drop to the knees every knee shall bow in the earth in the heavens below the heavens that jesus christ is lord i want you guys to make it to heaven but you must humble yourself you must humble yourself before God and get right before God. 1 John 1 9 says that if we confess our sins, that He is faithful and just to purify us from all unrighteousness and to forgive us of our sins. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins may be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Jesus Christ is coming back quickly and now is the time to get right with God. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent every single one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. There's nothing you and I can do to stop what's coming and Jesus Christ is coming back. And his name is called, he's coming back with, with, with his army. And his name is called the Word of God. His name is called the Word of God. What are you going to do about it, neighbors? This is what you must do. Repent. Fall on your knees when you go home. Ask God for forgiveness. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me, a sinner. Have mercy upon me, O God, a sinner. For the Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. The two greatest commandments is to love thy Lord, thy God, with all thy heart, soul, mind, and strength. And to like it, to love thy neighbor as thyself. I love you enough to warn you, neighbors, that Jesus Christ is coming and now is the time to get right with God. God bless you, brother. The Bible says in Amos 4.12, Prepare to meet thy God. Prepare to meet thy God. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, every single one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive them of their sin, and will hear their land. Jesus Christ is coming. Get ready. The King of kings and the Lord of lords, who is, who was, and is to come, is coming in flaming fire vengeance. <coughs> For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instructions. Fear God and give Him glory. For the hour of his judgment is come. Fear God and give him glory. For the hour of his judgment is come. Let us hear the conclusion of a matter. Fear God. For this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every deed into judgment. Including every hidden thing. What I tell you in the ear, what I tell you in the ear, that preach here upon the housetops. And fear not that which can kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. 
but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Jesus Christ is coming back, neighbors. He loves you, but you must repent. God is angry with the wicked every day and all the nations that forget God. It's time for America to bless God. We always say, God bless you, but now it's time for America to bless God. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers with themselves, mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor revealers, nor drunkards, nor extortioners, and inherit the kingdom of God. And such are some of you, but you're lost, you're sanctified, you're justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. Now is the time to get right with God. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Jesus Christ, who is the King of kings and the Lord of lords, is coming back quickly. Oh, my neighbors, God is patient. God is patient that none should perish but that all should come to repentance. Put your faith and trust in your neighbors that God commended his own love toward us. That God commended his own love toward us. And that while we're yet still sinners, Christ died for us. He died for us. Even more, having been justified by his blood, we shall escape the coming of wrath through him. Jesus Christ is coming back quickly. You see the world? The Bible is falling into place. Wars and rumors of wars. Inventors of evil things. Inventors of evil things. With the shot clots. Quick feet that run to evil. A lot of evil things. Men of corrupt mind, reprobates concerning the faith. There's so much evil in the world. Mankind has fallen. Mankind is fallen. And every single one of us will have to stand before God and give an account for our lives. But there is hope. There is grace. There is mercy. There is love. There is forgiveness. But don't forget, God is also a holy, righteous, just God. And the Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. God bless you, Eti. God bless you. And our God, for our God is a consuming fire. For our God is a consuming fire. Oh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. For my people are destroyed of lack of knowledge. I want to encourage my neighbors, when you go home, get into your Bibles, read your, your B-I-B-L-E's, the basic instruction before leaving earth. God bless you, sister. Please, get into your word. Jesus Christ is coming. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man shall sow it, that shall he also reap. Oh, God is not mocked, my dear neighbors. God is going to have the last say. Again, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Jesus Christ is coming quickly. Now's the time to get right with God. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Otherwise you'll end up in the lake of fire. But the fearful and unbelieving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah and abominable. And sorcerers and whoremongers and idolaters and adulterers. And all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire which burneth with fire and brimstone. Which is the second death. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I want to encourage my neighbors to seek the Lord with all your heart. Come before Him. He loves you. The rebellious, don't be stuck in, in a rebellious attitude. Uh, you know, he, he can heal you. 
He can mend you, whatever you're going through. That's why His Word is healing. And His Word says, Come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn from me, for I'm gentle and humble in heart. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We're redeeming the time, neighbors, because the days are evil. Trust Jesus Christ. A great and terrible day is coming. The great, the great day of the Lord. The great day of the Lord comes. He's coming. What are you going to do about it? Trust in Jesus. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all thy ways and He shall direct your path straight. A lot of people dying. Two guys just got shot at Y9. Brought out there on the curb. He hit the guardrail. When will your appointment be with God? We all have an appointment, and the Bible says, And as it is appointed unto men, once to die, but after this the judgment. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Where is he know not what shall be on the morrow? What is tomorrow? For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears just a little while, then it vanisheth away, the Bible says. Here today, gone tomorrow, we like to say. But the Bible says that we all have an appointment. We all have a court date with God. When we breathe our last breath, both you and I, we're going to have to stand before God and give an account. I want to encourage you guys out of reverential fear for the Lord to get right with God. Repent. Every single one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Pay attention. Whether it be a heart attack, a stroke, somebody drowning in the water, we all have a court date, we all have an appointment with God. Now is the time to get right with God. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent from what? Repent from our sins. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, Jesus Christ is coming. This is all about your salvation. Where will your soul spend eternity, neighbors? Now is the time to get right with God. Repent. Every single one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It's not going to be good. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get worse and worse. In the last days, we're living in the last days. Our hope is in Christ Jesus, the Lord. If you trust in Jesus Christ, born again, saved, you have nothing to lose, but everything to gain. To live is Christ, and to die is to gain, the Bible says. The soul that sitteth, it shall die. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. And there's a lot of people dying on the freeway. I don't know what it is about Hawaii drivers nowadays. Everybody seems to be in a rush. Can't make it from point A to point B. So much accidents by the Waikale, right before the Waikale cut off. If it's not car accidents, it's somebody shooting their guns. Two guys at the Waianae Boat Harbor died. They had a court date with God. They had an appointment. People dying on the freeway. They had an appointment with God. Did they know that they were going to have an appointment with God? No. Were they saved? Were they born again? I don't know. Only God knows. But the Bible says, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Oh, fear not him which can kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. 
and rather fear him was able to destroy both soul and body in hell. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a reverential fear. Not to be scared of God, it's respect, honor. Like how we respect our parents. And we're scared of our parents when we get home late and we're gonna get it when we're teenagers. That's the type of reverential fear. It's a respectful honor to fear God. Jesus Christ is coming. Now is the time to get right with God, my neighbor. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, every single one of you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, the name that is above all names, that in the name of Jesus Christ, Every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess in the earth, in the heavens, below the heavens, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, For those whom I love are rebuked and chastened. Be zealous, therefore, be zealous, therefore, and repent. Get hot on fire for the Lord Jesus Christ. His word says, because you're neither hot nor cold, and because you're lukewarm, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. Because you're neither hot nor cold, and because you're lukewarm, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. He's talking to the church. He's talking to the Laodicean church. That's the church. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak. <coughs> Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the things of the world, the love of the Father is not in him, and his world is passing away. For all that is in the world, for the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world, and his world is passing away. But he that doeth the will of God abides forever. This is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in, in him, should have eternal life and that it should raise him up on the last day. Be hey, not deceived, God is not mocked, my neighbors. Be not deceived, for God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man shall sow it, that shall he also reap. This is about your souls. Where will you sow spend eternity, neighbors, when you draw your last breath? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways and he shall direct your path straight. We're living in the last days. It's time to get right with God, neighbors. I love you guys. That's right. We come out here and share the gospel, the good news. How that Christ Jesus died for our sins. He is crucified, buried, and he rose on the third day. He rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. You must be born again. Jesus said, you must be born again. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. Don't wait till it's too late. Okay? Repent. Every single one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Every single one of us have all fallen short. For the Bible says, for all have sinned, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Get right with God now before it's too late, before you draw your last breath. We're all going to have to stand before God and give an account for our lives. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even the dividing soul, joints, and marrow. It judges the thoughts and the attitudes of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give an account. We're going to have to give an account one day, neighbors. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. There's hope in Jesus for you. There's hope. 
For everyone over here that calls upon the name of the Lord, for the Bible says in Romans 10, 13, that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's wonderful news. That's good news. Don't you think so? God has made a way for you and I so that you and I could have everlasting life. And that's only through His Son, Jesus Christ. But Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Not through Allah, Buddha, Charles Taz Russell, Joseph Smith. Nobody, only Jesus Christ saves. It is one God, one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, then right with God. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. He that hath the Son shall see life, but he who is not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Jesus also said, come follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. I'll make you fishers of men. Jesus said, come follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. If the church is hearing this now, be encouraged, be edified. We are to lift each other up. Even as you are doing now, the Bible says, there are many parts to the body of Christ, whether it be feeding the homeless, preaching the word of God out in the streets, setting up equipment for church services. Be encouraged, be edified, but know this, church, get hot on fire for Jesus Christ because he said, because you're neither hot nor cold, and because you're lukewarm, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth. That's a warning from Jesus Christ to the church of today. Be encouraged, but also be warned in love. Be hot on fire for Jesus. Get hot, hot on fire for Jesus. Don't be caught doing something you shouldn't be doing because God sees all. God sees everything. Your heart, your mind, your thoughts. You fall short, get back up because the word of God, though a righteous man may fall, it gets back up seven more times. The book of Proverbs says, get back up, rise back up and get back in the good fight. The fight of faith. A lot of people, they don't even know the Lord yet. They, 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 don't, they haven't been planted a seed yet. They don't know. That's why it's up to us, the church, to let them know that Jesus Christ is coming. It's up to us, the church. We got to let our neighbors know, which is the second greatest commandment, to love thy, uh, thy neighbor as we love ourselves, right? That's a commandment from God. Love God and love others. Love God and love others. As we love ourselves. Are we, are we really loving ourselves? Are we really loving our neighbors as we love ourselves? This is the least that we can do is let them know that God not only loves them, but we have to warn them in love. That Jesus Christ, he died for us on the cross crucified. He was buried and he rose on the third day. And read uh, Romans chapter 6. God bless you. Read the whole chapter of Romans chapter 6. It talk, talks about sin. That you must master sin. Don't let sin master you. Master it. Master it. Master the sin. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord that in due time that he may lift you up. Therefore submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God. For pulling down of strongholds, casting down <laughs> imaginations and every high thought.
that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and having an obedience to cast every thought down to the obedience of Christ. This is all about our salvation. I'm simply coming out here to let my neighbors know that Jesus Christ is coming and now is the time to get right with God. He's coming. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord that in due time that He may lift you up. He loves you. We all, every single one of us messed up. Every single one of us have fallen short of the glory of God. That's why God had to send a Savior. That's why we need a Savior. Don't harden your heart. If you're hearing this now, harden not your heart. But repent and believe in the gospel that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, the Bible says. Don't you know that He loves you so much that He had sent His one and only begotten Son to die on the cross for your sins? He sees your heart and heart. Whatever that you're going through right now, sir, know that He loves you and He died on the cross for you. Don't wait till it's too late because one day you and I, when we breathe our last breath, we're going to have to stand before God. Everyone, we're all going to have to stand before God and give an account, both you and I. I pray that God takes out that heart of stone and gives you a heart of flesh. Sir, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. God loves you and I love you. I love you enough to tell you that Jesus Christ is coming back on a white horse, called faithful and true and flaming fire vengeance on those who obey not the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way. He's the only way to, to the Father, to heaven. For the Bible says in Acts 4.12, Neither, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. For there is one God, one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ, the God-man. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't you know that the joy of the Lord is your strength when you're born again? A new creature created in Christ. All the baggage all fall to the ground. The Bible says, cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. The devil, your enemy, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus comes to bring life, and then you may have life more abundantly. Thank you, Jesus. Give thanks in all circumstances. This world is falling away. The Bible is falling into place. Repent, every single one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, that you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs>